guys, welcome to Charlotte. Four wide again, trying to see if we can double up from our win at Las Vegas, and uh, we're gonna show you about the performance of this and how we try to get this thing back in victory lane. So, hope you guys like it. Hit like, subscribe. That little bell thingy down there that tells you every time we put a video up, don't forget to click that too. So, come along for the ride. What's new? Man, I've been busier than a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. <laughs> so, being in Charlotte, I've had a uh, busy week with the cup team and a lot of juggling a lot of balls in the air at all times. So. My week will slow down just because I get to be at the racetrack now. <laughs> you ready? Wait, Tony. Ball gym, break all the switches. Yep. The warm-up went perfect. I mean, it, just checking the exhaust gas temperatures and just checking to make sure everything looks right. So everything was good, so we should be good to go. Just walking from the nitro pit to the alcohol pit to get ready for our first qualifying run. So uh, coming off of a big win at Vegas and uh, hopefully we can build off that momentum. So we'll see here shortly. What do you think is your favorite part of this whole thing? I guess my favorite part of the whole thing is to get to drive a race car and get to race on the same weekends as my wife. And I think most of all, I'm just enjoying learning a new discipline of motorsports that I've not been exposed to and trying to figure out how to be good at something I've never done before. That's your guys' lucky charm, four M&Ms? Yeah, I'm superstitious. It seems like all drag racers are. All racers are. All racers are? To a certain degree. It's just a matter of how bad are they. M&Ms. When do you eat them? right now but I take them out show Renee and Bill and Eric four of them Ooh, three browns and a blue It feels like a second and a half again. Same, like same spot as we were at Vegas. Leah said you were too deep. Hey, well, I, I was, and, and she may not be wrong. I was a little. It was a, I, I, did you feel late? Yeah. What does too deep mean? Too far into the stage beam, like you want to be at the very back of it. What's the point of that? You get a run and start at the light that way. Got it. So if I go too far, it takes that run away from it. So it hurts our ET. Try to walk it through with timing again. Yeah, it's, it's the only thing we can do there. Just flatline the timing. Did wing on the uh, green car. Did they do it? No. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to ask because I remember we put it in at Vegas. Yeah, I just didn't know if I you want airs heavier here. One. But with it, with it still running 274 out the back with a pedal, it's it's pulling it. And, and to be honest with you, the wing is not one of the things where it's like diminishing returns. It's not like you keep pitching and pitching and uh, just look. I don't see, I've never seen that. If anything, I stay on the other side to keep it kind of swift. And I've never seen where it really pulls. Uh, oh, I lost five miles again. We have too much weight. I don't see that. Gotcha. Put a uh, 
Vegas air is pretty thin and for the first two runs that we made at the same spot in the racetrack it didn't make it through it so they put a little rear wing in it to try to give it more stability and keep the traction in that spot they did some other things too but you go from Arizona and Nevada where it's really dry air the air is really thin then you come to North Carolina where you have a lot of humidity it makes the air heavy thick so it makes even more downforce when the air is heavy like that. So I, when I brought it up with him, I, I knew we had put it in at Vegas. I just didn't know. I haven't ran enough of these cars to know if it's how much drag it gives it when you put angle in it. Because when you get downforce, you get drag. So it's a trade-off. And I just didn't know if they thought it would hurt it or not. And if they wanted to take it back out. In all honesty, the tops went the other way and added another degree. So maybe it'll help us get through still having a trouble spot in the relative same spot as we did at Vegas, so this might help me get through that. Nice. What's it gonna be? Two reds, a brown, and an orange. Procedure here, Bill. I got to get this scarf on. I got to get this helmet in. I hook it, and I got to fold the gloves, get them ready to fit. Fist pump. It checks the car, checks the chutes, and I strap it. Then we're ready to rock and roll. change quick so you can go out to Leah? Uh, no, so I can do my job. <laughs> I, I tear part of the motor down now, probably since I've seen you. There's only two uh, two guys on our, each of the cars, so I change fast, go out there and start getting down to getting the valve cover off so they can adjust the valves. We do a cold lash and we do a hot lash after we warm it up. Two different settings on the valves. What are the tolerances? I don't know if I can tell you that. That's top secret. Well, Tom bites down, but yours is kind of soft already, so we're going to leave it. You just be ready. There's no. Uh, put a little bit of clutch on, put a little bit of timing in. I don't expect it to be as aggressive as hard was, so we're going to leave it alone. The wings, the starting line, everywhere you go, and pull it really good. It will be all right. <laughs> 525 uh, creeping up on it. We were looking for maybe uh, 23 or 4, so it's right in the wheelhouse. Um, that lane was really good. That's a good, uh, I don't know what spot it puts Tony in. I think 4th. 4th, uh, yeah, that's a real good spot.
You said you're feeling better now? Yeah, uh, to run a 25, that's, that's a way better number. So uh, I feel like we're in the game now on speed, so just gotta keep whittling away at it. I was, a little, I was a little deep and I was a little, I'm not gonna say I was quick on the light, the number shows I was pretty quick, but. Would you run on the light? Uh, 17, but I was a little deep, so it's probably a 30. I still okay. <laughs> We're in the optimal position as far as being low ET, low qualifier in our round. So we, we will get lane choice of so the four lanes. We get to pick which lane we want to be in. So that's a big deal. Going from qualifying to elimination, but does anything change for you other than that pressure going up? No, you're just not as worried about being really shallow in the light. You'd like to because as you go on, you know, if you win the round, still they go off of that ET for lane choice for the next round. So try to stay in the same rhythm we've been in qualifying, try to be shallow, be good on the light, let the car do its job. I got an imprint right here. I got the part that I need to know. I got. So, good job, good job, buddy. We'll play tomorrow now. Yeah. Man, it's a good day today. Leah, Leah goes good at the end. Matt goes good at the end. We get through first rounds. That's a hell of a Saturday. Moving on to semifinals. Semis tomorrow now. So, how do you feel? Um, I want to look at the data. I mean, we definitely need to. We definitely need to pick up a little bit of speed, but we're we're in the hunt, so we just gotta just gotta do our job. If I keep if I keep clicking lights off like we are, we got a shot. Are you more relaxed now because you got a win, or are you like more amped up because you got to win again tomorrow? No, I, I mean I think it. The good thing is after you win one, it takes a little bit of the pressure off of winning that first one, and then you just at least in my experience as my career, it's now you just settle in and race. It's like know how to do the deal and there's things that are going to come up that are going to be different that I'm still going to have to learn but at least mentally going into it I can just sit there and get in my zone and just go do my deal like I like to do it's like I don't I like when I don't have to think about it and I just get in and do it cool the results right. are better we'll check in with you tomorrow All right, man. Thank you. checks on the staging lanes. Everything. All the fuel lines, spark plugs, shut off, kill wires, make sure everything's ready to start. Everything. Have you burned straight out? Got in trouble early. And you maybe two or three inches to the right of the line. You still want it to be inside. Yeah. It'll be to the right of the line. It doesn't look great up there at Paul, but he's just run a 53 pedaling, so if you have to do the same pedal it too. Good luck there.
the best this car's ever ran. So. We're getting there. Doing our job. Really good. This car's really starting to perform now. That's the best run it's made. I mean, it's, it's the last two, three runs, it's really getting solid. So we're, uh, I don't know, I didn't see what Mike ran and all that, but we're, I gotta believe right now, at this time of day, and run a 22, we're in the hunt. Stay the course right now. Just keep, keep digging. So the great news is we're low and second low, so we're we're the uh, two fastest in the finals. So we get to pick the lanes. We get first and second pick of lane choice. So it's exactly what we want right now. And the cars are going good. So pops wouldn't say who he's rooting for. I'm like Phillips car. That's right. <laughs> Tony ran a 524. Two or 522. I'm sorry. Mike ran a 5.24. Just trying to get back down. Get back down to calm, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Like I'm all jacked up because of Leah too, but it's like I gotta get myself to go. I gotta get it to come down. That's how we had it planned. That's right. One two, baby. Yeah. Weather's getting a little better. Temps coming down. The humidity's going down. Pressure's going down. Yeah. Good, man. They go, why do you do this? Because this is why, because you're like, heart's going. It's like a feeling you enjoy, but you're like, I don't need too yeah, much of it. Yeah, but I, I need to be in a way different place than this when I get in that car. So I can. I, I've been racing over 40 years. I know how to do this. What do you do to calm yourself? Just find a spot where I can kind of get to myself and no phones, no radios, no people. Um. I like it. I All like right. it. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but if that's not the same combination, it's one off from when we won at Vegas. So I'm going to call that good. Four. Got you, brother. Great. Great, great. All different colors, that's the winning combo. Really? The way they come out, though. Warm out real slow, one Down here with Rich McPhillips Jr. Mike Cosman wins this race on a triple pull shot. Yeah. He did his job. We told him we don't care what the scoreboard says. He leaves first, does his job. This is exactly how we wrote it up. One and two. We put the two best cars, three best cars out here. We let them battle. This is just this is this is exactly how we wanted to go every weekend. Guys did Mike did an awesome job. It's incredible. Tony great. We're just we're spoiled with our drivers. Him and all of them jazzing. Can you explain the, the tree situation? He double ball, right? Really deep, so he turned the top bulb off, which means he was so deep in the stage that he turned, he rolled past the pre stage bulb. So. And then that rushes everyone, right? Well, it just it can get in your head because you see the ball go out, it's not normal. He just did a good job. He, I don't have that trick in my bag yet. I, I don't have the comfort to go that far and know I, I'm going to be okay without red light. So I'll learn that trick soon. Thanks, guys, for watching this week. Hey, 
tell us what you like, make comments, let us know what you like, what you don't like. We keep trying to make this better and better for you guys. I want you to have fun. So uh, runner-up's not bad, man. My teammates right behind me getting f pictures already for winning the race. So McPhillips Racing Team 1-2, that's a big win and uh, it helped us in the point standings today. So uh, man, we're off to a good start now. All right, we'll see you guys next time.